Hi everybody, how's it going? In this video we are going to demonstrate how to first of all create a seamless tile and then how to use a grid of clones to create a pattern like this. We will start with a square canvas. Just use one of the texture templates when creating a new document. Press W to go into wrap around mode and press Ctrl A to select the whole canvas. This is not strictly necessary but I like keeping track of where the canvas actually is. After that, we sketch out the location of the bricks. Because we are in wraparound mode, it's super easy to make sure the bricks are seamless. After sketching out the location of the bricks, we color it in, in basic colors. Once we're done with that, we can add some shading and highlighting. We use screen and multiply blend modes to pick the shading and highlighting colors. And we use alpha inheritance as usual. If you don't know this stuff, you can learn all about it in the section on coloring. We also add some shadows to the cement layer. Now we have a basic brick. We want to add some texture too. I pick the brush Texture Big to do this. I tap repeatedly on the bricks I used Ctrl to often pick a color in order to blend the results a bit Finally, I add some texture to the cement too. For that, I use a chalk grainy. I also want to increase the contrast of the cement a bit. For that, I want to use an HSV adjustment filter. We 
Then I darken it a bit more. And I add some shading to each brick. When I'm done, I export the image to PNG. We've seen in the previous section how we can use seamless tiles in our custom brushes. Next, I'm going to show you how we can use a grid of clones to create a large area of tiles. First of all, we start with a new document. We import the tile which was saved as PNG. And we move to the middle. Then we go to Layer, Split Clones Array. Here we can set the grid size, let's say 3 by 3 The offset was set automatically based on the tile size. As you can see, when I click on Apply, a new group layer appears with a grid of clones in it. We can adjust the offset like so. We can add clones in the other direction too. And we can also shift the clones on each row or column a bit. For example, shifting each row, we have something like this. If we want to tile the tiles along a diagonal line, we can adjust the angle. In this case, we can also set the corner to corner distance here. Setting these would automatically calculate the necessary X and Y offset. This can be handy, for example, if you are creating isometric tiles. Once done, we click on OK. Remember that we can modify the tile at any time, and all the clothes will follow suit. Once I'm satisfied, I can make a hard copy by merging the group. And here we have a grid of seamless tiles. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson. Bye bye.